So now that we have our geometry, we're going to be exploding and getting each of the elements of this geometry to subdivide it and extract edges for the structure and, and surfaces for the panels. So we're going to be using the wrap components node. And this, as it says here, will explode the geometry into different elements. So here we have six faces. 12 edges and vertices. We're going to be using the faces to subdivide the geometry even further. So for that, we're going to be using, going to be using the isotrim node. And we're going to be connecting our surface. And here we need a domain. For the domain, we're going to be using the domain, the divide domain square which is this one. We're going to plug in our surface and then we're going to be creating some sliders for the divisions. And we're going to plug in this to our subsurface. And as you can see, we're not getting the result that we want. And it is because if we see on our panel, This division has been applied to the whole geometry instead of each individual face or surface. So what we need to do, we need to graph this list. So here on graph, it will put each of the surface on a different uh, branch or group. So this subdivision will be applied to each face. Also, um, a, good, a good thing to have around is a list item. And this, like for example, before we do the graph, so the index is this number here on the list. So we have, if we select this, this will be the surface on the index number one, number two, and so on. And so it's always good to have one of this around. Craft this again. And so we have our divisions. Now this divides the verticals. So we're going to call this verticals. And this divides the horizontals. It's always good to have a, a low number for now when you start working and then you can adjust this as you go. Also, I'm going to turn the revolutions to one to see better what, what we're doing. So now that we subdivided our surfaces, we're going to explode this again to get each individual face. So we're going to be using uh, again the BREP components node. And we're going to be using our surface to create the panels and the edges to create the structure. So if we plug in the edges here, we can see that um, the list has four indexes. So here, if we select the index zero, we're going to be selecting the horizontal curves. If we change it to index number one, will be the verticals. And number two, and then will be horizontals again, and number three, verticals. And this is because if you see here, the edges are from each individual face. So there's two curves on the same position because one is from each of the faces. So we're going to start with the horizontals first. And to create a, a structure, we're going to be needing a, 
a section and a rail to create a sweep. So we'll be doing the sweep one node. And we need to have a section. In this case, I'm gonna use a rectangle, which in this case, we can we're just gonna do a square. But you can either do a rectangle or a polygon or a custom curve and do the rail around it. Now we need to place this on each of the curves. And for this, we're gonna be analyzing the curve. First of all, we need to join these curves because there are 450 curves right now. These are all the segments. So we're gonna be joining the curves. And if you see, we still have 450 curves. It's actually grouped because of the list item, the indexes. Um, to fix this, we flatten the list and we'll put all the curves into one single group. So now when we go here, we only have 18 curves. Now we need to analyze a point in this curve, which is gonna be the star or the end. If you go here to analysis, you can get this per frame. And this will create a plane on the curve. So if we plug in our curve and we need a parameter, we just put zero as the initial of the curve. And this is giving us an error. It's analyzing the whole group and we need to analyze each individual curve. So we're gonna graph the joining curves. And then we need to reparameterize, which is pretty much resetting the parameters. And this should be the actual planes. We're gonna unpreview this. So we're gonna be using our curves as the rails, and we're gonna be placing a rectangle into the planes. So here it's asking you for the base plane, which will be our P-frames. And now with this too, we can plug this into the sections and it should give us the horizontal solids. Now we can edit this horizontal thickness. And we're gonna increase the decimals, or the digits, sorry. So we can increase or decrease the thickness of the elements. Now we need to do all this for the verticals and an easy way to do this is just grabbing all these nodes and just duplicating them. If you move them around and then press Alt, it will copy your selection within this panel. And all we need to do is just change the index number to be the verticals. And there should be your verticals. You can change the thickness to make them uh, thicker than, than the horizontals, or you can keep them the same. Now that we have our structure, we need to create our panels. And for the panels, we're gonna be using our faces. And we're gonna scale them. So we're gonna use the scale node. We're gonna insert our geometry. And if you see, it's scaling all the elements on the center. This is, this is the center point of the scale. And we need to get the center of each individual face. So for that, we're gonna be using the area node. We're gonna plug in the surface and it will give us the center of each surface. We plug this in on center of scaling and that should fix the scaling issues. And now we're gonna put a factor, probably should be something low and we can set it to one.
and increase the number of digits or the floating numbers. And if we plug this in here, we can adjust the scaling factor on our panels. And once we have all this all these nodes ready, uh, we can start changing some parameters. So I can put them all here. And so we can start adjusting our geometry. Let's say we want more more vertical divisions, so and so on. So you can change all these parameters and obtain the the result that you want. Um, let's see if we have two revolutions. Once you're happy with the geometry, um, we can also give them thickness to the panels, but I find it to be easier to do it on Rhino than on Grasshopper. For that, we're just gonna do it on Rhino. We're gonna bake these geometries, the final geometries. And also we're gonna bake the, the panels. Here I'm gonna put them on a group because so I can select them better. And if I select this, Geometry. You can see the result. So if we offset the surface of this, uh, the panels, just make it solid. Point one. If we'll make them thicker, and there you go. You know, it's always really cool to just look inside the space. And you can always modify all the elements back in Grasshopper. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to have this file on my website. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Drop me a comment. Thanks.